Uh, but I know it's Zimbabwe. Good morning, guys. Um, just to keep you updated for the last four months, we've been trying to get our Facebook page back. Mapurise um, Bukrekume saw the Facebook police <clears throat> saw fit to delete us. We've been cancelled and the page is gone. So we start again from scratch. <clears throat> like most Zimbabweans, we are used to that. So it's not going to phase us at all. Tunongo, Tunongo Tanga Patra. So anyway, today's topic, if you if you can, before we get into that, go onto Facebook, search for Brett and Vet, and uh, give the page a like and follow again. And let's see if we can build up the same audience as we did last time and maybe even better. So today's topic, and I was wondering to myself the other day, we've got a new political player, Duz, Democratic Union of Zimbabwe, I think it is, I'm not too sure, led by a very capable gentleman by the name of Mr. Chapman, I think it is. Now, what I find a little bit uh, problematic with our Zimbabwean opposition approach is that the previous election, we had quite a few good players, amongst, uh, chief amongst them was APA, um, Kosana, Dr. Kosana Moy. Um, now, I'm, I'm, we built, uh, well, we, I wasn't part of it. They built a very good uh, first-time opposition political party, good standards, led by very capable people, and they did very well. Now, my problem is, why are we not building on that? Now, these, these are people <clears throat> that are not your normal Chibuku and, uh, and maize meal politicians, you know? She, these are these are these are educated men these are people that have degrees in in subjects that i don't even know about these are people that are very capable have led successful companies uh, are probably millionaires in their own rights uh, and and they have, and they are quite principled people now my question is why cannot why can't we as zimbabweans build on one united opposition why are we forming countless smaller oppositions now you know obviously i expect this from your your mdc's and your triple c's and stuff you know these these are parties that have been based upon the foundation of zan pf so we can't really expect too much <clears throat> negotiation or clear thinking from 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 those kind of things but when I say opposition, I mean people that have given it a go on their own. You know, the Apas, the Built Zimbabwe, Pasta Evans, now Duz and all that. Imagine if those parties or those individuals came together. Imagine what a force that would be. Imagine what a concentrated force it would be. Now remember, we are not dealing with a normal country with normal politics. This is a regime, a junta, a military regime. So, it's one thing to win an election. It's totally quite another thing to actually take control. Morgan Trangirai won in 2008 and he never got to it. So, we've got these issues behind. And what we are saying is, instead of fragmenting the opposition as we are doing, reforms, my party to dig to it with button and put forth one presidential candidate i mean why are we doing multiple presidential candidates are we not aware that it is better to be a minister in a governing party than to be a president in a party that wins foco i mean is it is is that too hard to understand or is there something that i'm missing there would it not be better to have these parties, the APAs, the Doos, the Build Zimbabwe, the, there's a couple of others that I haven't. Transform Zimbabwe, how can I forget? Transform Zimbabwe, and a couple of other ones. Why can't those guys sit down and agree to say, right, listen, we are forming a committee. The committee is made up of, I don't know, let's say 10 parties. And what we're going to do between us is we are going to elect a presidential candidate even if they elect someone who's not even in the top in their team they elect a completely different individual who's qualified to lead the country you know that that would be the way to go say you are because now what's happening is the population me included are beginning to suspect that perhaps these people either 
do not have the best interest of Zimbabwe at heart. Can I one regime where also divide the opposition? Those are the that, that's what's now becoming the question. The question is why, why if we can see it, if we can see, I mean the differences between transform Zimbabwe, APA, uh, Druzi, uh, build Zimbabwe, the differences between those four parties is probably five percent. And it's probably related to some obscure little uh, something, something on a, on a subject that doesn't even matter, to be quite honest. And yet, you are asking us to vote for you because you are going to bring a better Zimbabwe. Now, part of bringing a better Zimbabwe is you're going to have to speak and negotiate with hundreds of people, hundreds of groups, religions, tribes, uh, businesses. So if you don't have the skill, kutaura muriten zin, kutumubata ne muriten, muruguta zaguita ishush. Ko muno zota muzo gona kutonga Zimbabwe zey. Eh? That's a genuine question. Why are you now saying, ah, no, we go to the elections to, to one by one by one by one? First of all, you shouldn't be participating in that election because it is flawed. Do point you tanga. Point H2, if you are deciding to go and participate, why are you going to participate in one one? So anyway, that is the question for today. And Chiru Zivati, point ye page renew, point ye bread and vet is to make people think. That's all. You just got to sit down and think and ask yourself questions and say why, 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 why and get answers and that will lead you eventually to the truth. So yes, those parties need to sit down and come up with some sort of election coalition or something because what's going to happen is Mucharoa, Mese, 6-0. Apana kana one constituency city no budai pap. Kana one. If the end game is to make sure that you come up in a runoff and maybe get some, some seats in a runoff. So, so if, for example, if Duz was to get, say, 150,000 votes, or let's say 5% of the vote, let's say, and then ZANPF gets 40 and MDC get 42, all of a sudden that 5% is quite important in a runoff, isn't it? So is that the end game? to be part of one of those parties in a runoff election and, and get a couple of seats. That would make sense in a, in a, in a, in a kind of way. So, you know, and, and, and maybe that is the, the, the strategy. But the, that 5% would be a lot more if all those smaller parties came together. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you had the little build Zimbabwe, the little this, the little transform, the little this, the little, and you put all of those guys together, I mean, you're not going to have the briefcase party that and it's voted for by him, his wife, and his three kids. Uh-uh, we're not talking about those parties. We're talking about a party that has substance. People follow in Yavo, and they've got ideas and fresh fresh minds and that kind of thing so we're talking about those kind of parties if those kind of parties can come together that five percent will be ten percent twelve percent fifteen percent all of a sudden we are now political players and those are people with principles and if they get offered positions no matter if it is in the zona pf government or if it's in a triple c government doesn't matter those people will then stand for what is true and what is right and slowly slowly that's how we eat an elephant one teaspoon at a time so if that's the, the strategy, forgive me for assuming that you Muru Atengesi, but it still doesn't change the fact that Mufanok Batan. So we want to we want those questions answered. Why are you guys not forming some form of coalition between those opposition parties that are principled? Anyway, Moita Zoraganak to Batan.